Hello friends, so today in this video we will be discussing the first problem from the latest code forces round 712 problem named Deja Vu. Uh, I don't think so this problem is not lot, like a lot too difficult. You just have to understand what is a palindrome and how you can form a non-palindromic string. But uh, we'll go over this problem. The problem statement states that you have to insert or you are actually given a string s and you have to insert a character a into that string such that the resulting string should not be a palindrome and you always have to insert a character which is a inside that string such that the resulting string should not be a palindrome it is a palindrome then the answer is impossible or no that's the whole problem now what the first thing which comes to my mind is okay let's go over some examples okay so let's assume that i have some string a a b can i make this string a non palindrome by inserting a a yes so it means that okay if there is some other string like this i can again make it some another string yes i can make it so it means that okay but if the the string consists of all a's then whenever i put a a it is not possible so if the string is consist of all a's then only it is not possible to create a string which is parent which is not palindrome else it is always possible now what i thought here is okay inserting a character in the center or somewhere else in the string is lot difficult to check because i have to check for every place but it's beneficial to just <coughs> put the character in the start which means that okay let's put the first character in the start and then if that is a palindrome like check that whether it's a palindrome or not because see let's assume that my string can be b and a okay if the string is ba if i put one a at the start then it it will obviously become a palindrome and we want that the string should not be palindrome so this is not possible you should not always put the a character at the start but see if this is possible if this is the input string and if we place a in the start then obviously it will form a palindrome but that's not that's not beneficial for us but if we place a a in the end then obviously it will not become palindrome it's obviously because see if by inserting a character at the start it becomes palindrome so it means that be before inserting that character it is not a palindrome because if let's assume that the the character is like this a b b a a okay if we insert a character at the start then it will become obviously palindrome which means that before this it is not a palindrome if it is not a palindrome if i put a character here as i have seen in any example then it can also become a non palindromic string so that's the simple logic which comes to my mind and it's passed. It's not too difficult to understand. You just have to check that whether the full string is consisting of A's. Then so answer is obviously no. Else you have two options. You can put the character in the start or in the end. If you put in the start, you just have to check that whether putting the character in the start will form a palindrome. If it form a palindrome, then the answer is just put the character in the end. And if the if you put the character in the start and it is not a palindrome, then that's the answer. I hope you understand because you have inserted the character. So I'll show you the code part now. Uh, it's not too difficult but you just have to understand some examples and that that will become clear the code will be in the description so if you want to check it that out just take input of string then you just have to check that whether it is all a's okay you just iterate over the whole string if it is all a's then the answer is no you cannot form it i uh, just return out of this whole function else the the first string can be insert a at the start so what you can do you just add a at the start of s as in the string you can like form a new string which is like a plus s it's like like concatenating a character a at the start of s and you're just checking out whether it is is palindrome is palindrome is just a function which checks that whether the string is palindrome if inserting or concatenating a character a at the start of s is not a palindrome then the answer is yes okay yes that we can form a string yes and the answer string is concatenating a and the start s else if concatenating a and the s like concatenating a at the start of s forms a palindrome then the answer is s plus a that we are inserting a at the end so I hope you understand the logic and the code of this problem. I will be bringing out more videos, so stay tuned. I'll see you next one. Till then, keep coding. Bye.